I've decided to do a film of Roddy. He's Guernsey's most famous fisherman. Or at least he will be when this film gets a million views. It's only about two foot deep there at the minute. Mm. I'm going down, down, you're down. You're not going to drown then, you're just going <laughs> to... It's just going to be... Down, down, down. <laughs> now that's what they call an outtake. My intention is to make Roddy to fisherman what Postman Pat is to Postman. But he's a reluctant movie star. The marina is like a mill pond at the moment about two feet deep. Most fishermen waiting for the tide to come in so they can get out. Not much activity out of the harbour, a large cruise ship. Not much activity in the harbour. First job to offload the crabs and lobsters to the boat bound for France. I love sitting around in the early morning in the harbour. Rod is getting things ship shape. What a magnificent boat. The wild wave. He's retrieving the fish he's caught earlier to take the catch to the wholesaler. They will actually be exported to France and maybe Spain. The most common crab is called a shanker. Now you may wonder why, because a shanker is a medical term for a painless ulceration most commonly formed during the primary stage of syphilis, which people commonly call the crabs. So shankers have become the crabs, and the crabs have become shankers. All very confusing. Unless you speak Latin, then you know the Latin word for crab is cancer. But of course you knew that. That's why there's a little crab next to cancer in the horoscope. Check, they all still have their vital parts. So off we go to offload them. We have to take our turn. As you can see, it's a hive of activity. The shankers the lobsters Roddy is renowned for being a good bloke so he helps everybody unload his friend here is a load of spider crabs this is the offline forum get all the latest news, views and solutions.
Weigh the catch. Lobsters fetch about five times more than crabs. The fish all need to be a minimum size. Small ones have to go back into the sea. So we're ready to fish. The pots went down two days ago. Time to pull them up. Off we go to see how many lobsters are in the pots and how many crabs. Passing the Ventura must be a lucky day for us. If you don't know what Ventura means, Google it and good luck. The Ventura, by the way, is 956 feet long, has 19 decks, and accommodates 3,192 passengers. Roddy knows where the lobsters and crabs hang out. It's not just the location, it's the tides, the water temperature, but mainly, it's Ventura. I googled it. Now Guernsey has a phenomenal literary society with great wit and insight and spot-on quotes such as men are more interesting in books than they are in real life. I hasten to add men are also more interesting in films than they are in real life especially Roddy so watch on. After the pots are pulled and the catch bucketed, the bait, that is the smelly fish, is put into the pots. This is George Seagull, Roddy's best friend, when I'm not here. The lobsters then have their claws bound by thick rubber bands Believe it or not, this is not to prevent them from biting Roddy, it's to prevent them from biting one another. Occasionally a conger eel will get into the pot, looking for a crab snack. They've been known to grow to 143 pounds. They invariably end up back in the pot as bait after they've decomposed a little. It's a beautiful day for our fishing. The sea is calm, beautiful sunshine. So far not many fish. But Roddy is not finished yet. Those days to pull pots by hand. Yeah. When I first started, everything was pulled by hand. Right. The electric winch now does the job. At least we're beginning to get some fish in the pots. Lobsters. Crabs. And occasionally, a big one. While George looks on waiting for a snack, he's also become my friend now and poses for a shot. I'm about one foot away from him. A beautiful bird. He recognizes Roddy and will come and sit with him. Once the pots are pulled and baited, Roddy will find a good place to drop them. Then he can relax a while. 
He's wishing he was on the Ventura, and the people on the Ventura are wishing they were fishing with us. A good day's work. Back into the harbour, past Castle Cornet, the clipper getting ready to leave. The tide is in now, and we have a fair catch. It's great when the weather is like this, but you can imagine when it's winter and there's some wind and a six foot swell, it's not much fun. I would love to do a patois film of Guernsey entitled What Guernsey Means to Me, written and spoken in patois. With subtitles, of course. Cutting the tendons of the crab's claws so they don't bite one another. The biggest lobster I had last year was 11 and a half pounds. Wow. Clean up the boat. Moor up. Head home. And this is where we came in. Already on Exion.org, Burma, Kashmir in India, ancient Xi'an in China, historic Jerusalem, wonderful Copenhagen, majestic Ladakh, magnifico Barcelona, memories in London, Venice, Nanping 360 Hong Kong, Marrakesh, Morocco, Okinawa, Japan, Uti in India, Disneyland, Hong Kong, the Norfolk Broads in England, the Oriental Outpost of Portuguese Macau, Shaman, China, and the magic of Kerala in India. Take a look. <laughs> 